I'm Tim Sustak, Chief Credit Officer with Visa Financial, and this is your FOMC update for the March 2023 meeting. At its latest meeting, the FOMC chose to raise the target Fed funds range 25 basis points to a level of 4.75 to 5%, and they also increased the rate on reserve balances by 25 basis points to a level of 4.9%. The decision to raise rates was a unanimous one and was expected by many in the marketplace, though some thought that the Fed may take a pause at the March meeting due to the turmoil in the banking industry. There were a few significant changes to the post-meeting statement other than the level of rates. The FOMC addressed the banking industry by saying that the U.S. banking system is sound and resilient, though acknowledged that recent developments are likely to result in tighter credit conditions for household and businesses and to weigh on economic activity, hiring, and inflation. When talking about future rate increases, the Fed swapped the language that stated, the committee anticipates that ongoing increases in the target range will be appropriate. For the language, some additional policy firming may be appropriate, which leads one to believe that the Fed may have less conviction about future rate hikes. This month also gave us a look at a new set of Fed projections. The dot plot regarding monetary policy showed that some of the March projections moved higher from the December projections. However, the median estimate remained at 5.1% for 2023, which would indicate a range of 5 to 5.25%, or one more 25 basis point increase. This aligns with the change in the Fed statement that gives a softer tone for future rate increases, though there are obviously some at the Fed that are not convinced yet. We'll see what Chair Powell had to say about the future of monetary policy in his press conference after the break. Bizzo Financial's annual risk management conference is back, and with it, the education and strategies credit unions need to effectively address their risks. From cybersecurity to payment risk and everything in between, including our famed tabletop exercise, we are covering the spectrum of risk from one end to the other. Join us on April 20th to the 21st, 2023 at the Hotel Hershey in Hershey, PA and give your credit union the tactical edge to help overcome the riskiest aspects of your business. Checkmate and all. Welcome back. In his post-meeting press conference, Chair Powell gave his typical update on economic conditions. The bottom line is, inflation remains too high, and the Fed remains committed to bringing inflation back to its 2% goal. Why then does it seem the Fed is indicating it's almost done with rate hikes? The reasoning provided some interesting commentary during the press conference. As we said, some thought that the Fed would pause its rate hikes at the March meeting due to the recent banking turmoil. Though the Fed did not pause at this meeting, the effect of the recent banking crisis certainly did affect the way the Fed is looking at monetary policy. Chair Powell did acknowledge that the committee considered pausing this month, but that economic indicators have generally come in stronger than expected since the last FOMC meeting, and the committee felt it was important to continue the fight on inflation, not only in words, but in actions. However, forward guidance has changed in response to the banking crisis, which is expected to cause credit tightening that will have a similar effect in the economy as the rate increases of monetary policy. The key is, it's too soon to know how much and for how long the effects of credit tightening will be felt by the economy. For this reason, the committee changed its guidance to acknowledge they may still need to raise rates somewhat in the inflation fight, but also because the expected effects of tighter credit conditions could also play an important role. The Fed has always said it will consider incoming data, and that the path of rates is not set in stone. Tightening credit in response to banking sector woes has the potential to have a meaningful effect on the data, and the Fed will be watching. So, the Fed is incorporating the banking crisis into its monetary policy plan, maybe just not how some of the markets originally thought. Consistent with its data-dependent mantra, the Fed will be watching tightening of credit for signs that it's affecting economic activity, the labor market, and inflation. The magnitude of that effect will help to determine how much additional monetary policy intervention is needed. And by the way, the Fed still does not currently expect any rate cuts in its base case for 2023, no matter what the markets are trying to tell you. That's the FOMC update for March. Thanks for watching, and be well.